Hey everybody, Coach Cahill here. I'm the Hit Doctor, representing True Diamond Science with your drill of the day, or your conversation of the day, I should say. Um, we've talked in the past about the head, the hands, leaving the arms out of it, going into the shoulders, the trunk, which is part of the upper half, which to me includes the hips, okay? I like to put the hips in the upper half because I think that's what's controlling everything. Now we're gonna get into the legs, all right? This is probably the number one source of argument, at least from what I see on Twitter, is about the legs. Now, all of us who are playing baseball understand the value of having good balance, having strong legs, those types of things. Um, the difference is the great hitters in the world are able to maintain the stretch and maintain the uh, storage of energy back here longer and hang on to it until the very end and then they release everything forward, okay? So with regards to the legs, my personal opinion is the rear one is your base, okay? That's actually what you rotate around to swing, all right? Instead of having everything forward and rotating around the front leg, all right? That's a big, big difference. And there are, we can debate that if you want, or you guys can debate it. I don't really have time for all that. Um, but in my opinion, the great hitters are using their rear leg to swing and they're getting behind the rear leg and everything is a little bit more um, rear, butt, glute, hamstring, back dominant in their swing behind the leg. And that's swinging everything forward onto the front leg, which is only there to receive the energy and to keep you from falling down. That's the way that I would explain the usage of the front leg and the back leg. In other words, I don't believe you should get on your front leg and then straighten it out to turn and swing. Okay, I think that's a two-part swing that takes too long. And to me, it's a little bit counterproductive to get everything going forward and then just to push it back and swing, okay? So you're going this way and then this way and then around. Like that seems like it's too much to me. So the rear leg is your posting leg. That's what you post on, all right? That's where you get to uh, stabilize yourself. Everything right down into the rear heel, all right? And make sure that the energy is being stored behind into the hamstring and in the glute area all the way down through your calf into the heel. Stay out of the quad, all right? The number one rule for me teaching kids is to make sure that when you load, you're not getting into the quad, all right? I see this all the time where kids are just going down like that, and right away I can see the flex in their quad, and they're ready to jump, okay? And if they're ready to jump, they're probably going to jump when they swing, and they're going to jump right past the ball. And they're gonna, Their head's going to be moving up and down. They're going to be all over the place. So stay out of your quad when you load, all right? The loading to the rear leg is a coiling, and it's an energy storage that happens back here, okay? We hit with the glute, we hit with the hamstring area, up into the psoas muscle, which is the lower back. So keep everything back here, okay? So there's very little weight on this leg, okay? Very little weight. Even to the point where when I get to here, there's still very little weight on this leg, okay? So I see this term, or I, I see the phrase 50-50, um, you need to get to 50-50. Well, let me tell you something. If you are 50-50, weight distribution is what we're talking about here, right? Energy distribution. Let's, let's think about that for a second. If I'm right here and I have equal amount of weight on this leg and equal amount on this leg, then how do I swing? How, how do I possibly get anything going that has any kind of power to it? Okay? The answer is you can't. So the 50-50 rule is out, in my opinion. So you could be 50-50 on your legs and you still have to pull back to get any kind of leverage to swing, right? Well, as you're doing that, guess what you're doing? You're taking the weight off of this leg, the energy off of this leg, and you're actually moving it back to this leg where it belongs, all right? So don't buy into the 50-50 thing, got it? When you swing, everything is about the rear leg, okay? Holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it, and then that's the start of my swing right there. Right there, I'm swinging, and I'm gonna swing everything into the front side. I hope this makes sense. This is what it looks like. 
okay? So yes, I do get to the front side with my swing. There is definitely a weight shift, an energy shift from the back to the front. It's all about when you do that and how you do that. That will make you an elite hitter or an average hitter, okay? Keep the energy back here and behind here for as long as possible and swing it forward onto the front side, okay? Get to work.